So, uh, how has the first three practices been? Is, does it feel different than last season? Or? Yeah, I mean, practice has been going great. Great energy, great uh, competition. Uh, we've been getting up and down a little bit. Uh, but overall, I think we've had a, a good first three practices. I think uh, we got the culture, culture through to all the new players. I mean, great energy in the gym, everyone cheering each other up, learning from the older guys. So, I mean, it's very competitive. A lot of different energy from last year. You like having another Kentucky guy here with Julius? Oh, yeah, man. All, Kentucky's always family, man. That's one thing when you go there. I mean, you always be being. I mean, everywhere you go, you're going to find some Kentucky family. So, it's good to have him in here. I mean, I've been uh, doing getting some shots up with him. Uh, talk to him, trying to get learn some new uh, things, offense and defense. So it's always great to have another Kentucky player on the team. Did, did you know him much before? Uh, I mean, a little bit, not really. I mean, when I was at Kentucky, he came and talked back to the team a little bit. So I, I talked to him a little bit there. But I mean, this is the first time I actually got to communicate with him and actually sit down and talk with him. Has Bernard, have you talked to Bernard since he's been here? At yeah, yeah, I talked to him this morning. Uh, I mean, last year. Uh, he kind of, he kind of, we had, had dinner. I mean, I met him like three or four times last year, uh, just trying to pick at his brain. He's one of the greatest scorers of all time. So he just gave me some tips here and there. I mean, uh, just telling me something about his history, telling me some stuff about uh, my game, where he's been watching. I mean, he watches pretty much all the games. So he just gave me some tips here and there. So it's always good to learn from someone like that. I mean, uh, that's, that's a great player in NBA history. Uh, I mean, so I always want to be able to uh, pick his brain and learn new things from him. What's the best advice you got from him in terms of what? I mean, he just, I mean, he, he's a different, he's different when it comes to that. I mean, he's got spots on the court that he, he works on before practice, after practice, before the games that he just wants to go to each spot before the game and be able to knock those shots down, kind of master those spots. So he's kind of just telling me to master some of the shots, moves that I'd like to do and just master those moves before you move on to something else. How much different is the offense this year compared to last year? Well, I mean, we're kind of running to some, some uh, similar stuff. I mean, a lot of flow game, a lot of pick and roll. I mean, a lot of just getting everyone involved. I mean, he hasn't really put no plays in or anything like that, but I mean, everyone's pretty, pretty uh, doing a good job of just adapting to the new offense. I mean, got a lot more time than we did last year. So, I mean, we're just trying to get to know each other. You know, point guards trying to get to know each other, um, all the players' movements and stuff like that. So, just playing more freely right now, just getting up and down, uh, just trying to pass the ball and show the game. All the young guys on the team. Uh, I don't know, like what, whether you what you think of the playbook so far, just what you guys have done in uh, practice. Do you feel like it's a little more complex this season as opposed to last year? Uh, Fizz actually hasn't put no plays in. Okay. I mean, he's just kind of just put more of like a little some um, like fast break uh, stuff in, some flow game and stuff like that. He hasn't really put any plays or any set plays at all yet. I mean, he just wants us to master our fast break, master our uh, flow game before we get into all the other stuff. Has anyone stood out or impressed you? Some of the new guys are a rookie in the first couple of days. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good, a lot of good guys out here. I mean, uh, he's not new, but Frank's been doing really well. I mean, lately, I mean, just bringing defensive energy. Uh, Marcus Morris can really shoot the ball. Uh, Lamar Peters is another guy that's really a pest on the ball defensively. I mean, Julius had a great practice today. I mean, he he, he was really um, just being more of a leader today, talking to me, talking to some of the other players. So, I mean, it's always good to have some of those older guys in the gym, uh, just kind of just talking through uh, the young guys through each play, each possession, just teaching them new things. Yeah. If your minutes were to decrease at all, is it possible to still develop if you're not getting as much minutes? Like how does that work in practice? Yeah, you could def game? definitely develop if you're not playing as much. I mean, there's a lot of guys in the league that start off when they first come in, don't play that, uh, play much at all, and then they become very superstars. Uh, so, I mean, just my just standing in the gym, stay confident in yourself, working on your game in the summer, uh, learning the offense, I mean, practice, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of guys in the league that I can name that I mean just started off not really doing much but just progressed and kept developing into great superstars. Was that hard on you at all last year to be a rookie and be asked that there was times where mm -hmm. you were the you were the lead option and Yeah, I mean it, it wasn't hard at all, but I mean it did get tough. I mean it was there's a lot of stretches where I, I I struggled a little bit, but I mean people in my circle just kept me up, stayed confident in myself, the coaching staff, I mean just made sure that I stay in the gym getting shots up. And uh, then just keep progressing. So as the year went on, towards the mid-season, end of the year, I've just felt more comfortable on the court. 
I think it just slowed down. But, I mean, there's a lot of times where it was tough. Uh, but I wouldn't say it was hard because, I mean, that's just something that you, you get uh, prepared for life. I mean, it's a tough moment, so you just got to be able to get through it. Have you given any uh, advice to RJ about being a first-round pick coming to this market, how to handle it? I mean, he's, he's very confident himself. I mean, just, just the way he plays. I mean, he knows that he really can get to the basket. He's a really underrated passer. So, I mean, I talk to him here and, uh, here and there. I mean, uh, he, he kind of knows that you just got to be able to bounce back each game. You got 82 games. So, I mean, one, one tough game is not going to just hurt you the rest of the season. You got to be able to bounce back in this league because there's so many games. Play four games a week. I mean, uh, one tough game is not going not gonna to affect you throughout the whole season.